praise the Lord. At this wonderful hour, I want to thank God and bring honor and glory to our King of Glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us turn our places in the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 1. Let us meditate the verses 4, 7 and 13. Please anyone of you read. Verse 4. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love. Verse 7. We have redemption in him through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of His grace. Verse 13, When you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and when you believed in Him, you were also sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. The beautiful word of God tells us here, we have been chosen by God, the Father. The fourth verse very clearly says, for He has chosen us in Him before the creation of the world. God has chosen us in Christ before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in the sight of God. It is not to be holy in the sight of a man or a good person, a righteous person in the sight of man. But God has chosen us to be holy in the sight of God Himself. It is very hard to understand uh, what is the holiness and uh, what is uh, blameless. In human side, it is very easy for us to rectify everything. Whether false testimonies or uh, one or two testimonies, the things can be confirmed in judgment. But here, in the sight of God, nothing can be hidden at the sight of God. What a beautiful thing we can see. God knows everything. He has chosen us in Christ before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in the sight of God Himself. So what we have to do? The three things we are going to meditate. The fourth part very clearly says God has chosen us. And uh, seventh verse. Very beautifully says seventh verse. God has a in Him, we have the redemption. In whom? Jesus. In Christ. God has chosen us in Christ to be holy and blameless. But as we know, we are the sinful people. We can never be blameless by our own flesh or blood or our own will. We need the power of God, the will of God, the sacrificial thing in our life to be rectified, redempt, redeemed through the bondage of sin. God has given us the redemption through Lord Jesus Christ. We have been redeemed by the Lord Jesus Christ, a precious blood. What a beautiful thing. It is a step by step God has chosen and wanted us to be holy in His sight and blameless in His sight. And we can see the promise of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, God redeemed us. And uh, through His righteousness, God's grace, uh, He has given us the promises from the sin. And uh, 13th verse, we can see the other part of our uh, salvation process. We have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having believed, you were marked in Him with the seal, the promised Holy Spirit. We have been marked, sealed by the Holy Spirit to be holy and blameless. What a beautiful thing. God's act on our salvation process is very beautiful. God has chosen us in Christ before the creation of the world and He wanted us to be holy and blameless in His sight. And that is what the, our goal should be. We should know what is our call. And many times we are the people who are grieving ourselves, uh, seeing the public uh, or the church members, uh, the believers, the disciples, so-called pastors, so on, we have been worried and grieved 
and we wanted to be holy, we wanted to be good person in the sight of uh, other men, our church fellow men. But uh, God has not called us to be holy in the sight of uh, the society, the uh, deceitful society, the dirtyful society, the sinful society, the society of the lie, because the father of the lie is uh, the king of this world where we live. And God said very clearly in the book of Corinthians and the parts, uh, we are uh, living here uh, temporarily as in rented house. We are living in the tent. One day we have to go away from this place. This is not our permanent place. We have been called to be holy and blameless in the sight of God to be with Him in heaven, in eternal life. That is what our goal should be, our dream should be. We have to fix our eyes on the things above. What to do, where to be, how to be. We have to come out of all kind of bondages of this worriness, grievances, grievances which it comes and uh, binds us, uh, not allowing us to progress in Christ, grow in Christ, grow in our faith, to get stronger in our faith. That is what uh, the fact that God reveals it. God has chosen us before the creation of the world. We are the special people in the sight of God. God wanted every man to be saved. God gives himself uh, if anybody dies. That is a real fact. But God has chosen us uh, to be all in his sight. If we are obedient to God, if we know, we understand the call of God in our life, uh, the chosen part of our part of God in our life, God's act in our life, we have to stay firm with God. What we are going to do with God, the God reveal the things, uh, what is good and what is bad. We are the blessed people in the name of God. In the book of Jacob, in the first chapter, we can see the blessed is the man who hears the word of God and listens to the word of God and uh, acts according to it. Not just listening, not just reading, but by obeying we can be truthful and faithful to God. And God has chosen us, if you are confident in that, if you are strong enough in that, then we can have the assurance that we have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has redeemed us, saved us from the bondage of the sin, and we are all in Christ, not out of anything. In Christ, as we are holy, we are eligible to enter into the kingdom of God. That is what here we understand through the word of God. And uh, we can see in the third verse, we have been sealed by the Holy Spirit depending upon our faithfulness, depending upon our dedication, depending upon our obedience in Christ. If we know we have been redeemed, if we obey to the word of God, if we fix our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ and the word of God and walk accordingly with God, with understanding what God revealed to us, given us the better understanding, and God has given us a special opportunity to know the word of God. As we know the many people, they spend time in various places. But if we are the people who have chosen the right path, the right place, the right moment to meditate the word of God, we are blessed people in the name of God, we should obey to the word of God and listen and understand the call in our life, the chosen part of God, that of God in our life. And we have to submit to the redemption of Lord Jesus Christ and we should understand how God has saved us. If we know God has chosen us, Lord Jesus Christ has redeemed us, we have been sealed with all His Spirit, nothing to worry about in this world. We may have nothing in this world. We don't need to compare with anybody, and we can have the all understanding, full satisfaction in our heart. We have not been called to 
Chinese believe any man, any believer, any pastor, or any society members, we are called to satisfy and be holy in the sight of God and blameless in the sight of God. God who can understand this, who can know the things eh, and do the right things at the right time. Let us wait for the handiwork of God in our life. As God knows, in His own time, God can deliver us. God can allow the things to happen in our life. And God can make the things to stabilize for His glory in the days to come, in the weeks to come, in the months to come, maybe. We have to wait at the feet of the Lord, surrendering ourselves, remembering the things, what God has revealed to us today. As Apostle Paul explained all these things to the believers in Ephesus, we are so-called believers should understand the real factor why the God called us, chosen us, and redeemed us, and sealed us to be holy and to blameless in the sight of God. Let us try to be in such a position to be witnessed by God. Let us examine ourselves and await at the feet of the Lord so that God's grace can be more and more. God can deliver and do the mighty things in the midst of us. Let us wait for the manifestation of the Lord in the midst of us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go down and pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this word of God today, what you given us today to meditate and understand. As we know, you are the Lord God who has chosen us from before the creation of the world through Jesus Christ. And Lord God, you daily redeemed us through Lord Jesus Christ and sealed us through the Holy Spirit of our Father. You are more confident, more stronger in our faith and help us to walk boldly in this world as a living witnesses for your glory of Father. Never worrying about any grievances, the evil attacks, what comes against us, the blockades. Oh, Father God, help us to take away all the things, take overcome every stumbling stone in our path and get a victory in our sight. Oh, Father God, help us to be blameless in our sight of our Father. Be with us, guide us, and lead us. In Jesus Christ's wonderful name we do pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.